let's check out the global control section of Equator. When something is a global control, it means that it's affecting every part of the synth. Global controls typically have more to do with how something functions as opposed to how it sounds, but adjusting them can result in some very musical results if you know what's possible. Click on the global tab and let's start over here with the master clock. You may have noticed that on many parts of Equator you have the option of syncing certain time-based parameters to a clock or a BPM. The master clock is where you set that master tempo. You can navigate up and down, tap out a tempo, or sync it to an external clock source. You can see here that if I set this LFO to sync, then I can actually have the frequency or rate move in time with the BPM. Same goes with a few of the envelopes and a few of the effects processors as well. Moving over to the voice mode section, let's navigate to preset number 115, triangle mono lead. Here we will determine whether this preset is polyphonic, meaning that many or multiple notes can be played at any given time, or if it's monophonic, meaning that we're restricting ourselves to a single note being played at any time. In polyphonic mode, each time you strike a key wave, it triggers one of the possible 16 voices, which each independently runs through the synth and modulation panels. The monophonic sending can function two ways. The first is mono retrigger, which means that every time you strike a key wave, a new note becomes active and re-triggers the voice and the envelopes as well. You can see that happening here. Switching to mono legato still limits us to a single note and acts like mono retrigger unless we play with a legato technique in a smooth flowing manner without breaks in between notes. When we do this, the new voice will be triggered, but the envelopes will not, which creates a very different sound. You can really hear it in the delay. And also the attack. Personally, the mono legato setting is something I'm very drawn to as a keyboardist. I find it to be very expressive and tactile, and you can hear how different the sound of this preset is depending on how I play it. Skipping over the effects modulation mode, let's move over to the preset master. In the preset master section of the global controls, you can transpose the pitch of the preset up or down three octaves. Adjust the entire pitch of the preset up or down 11 semitones with the coarse pitch knob. Up or down 99 cents with the fine pitch knob. And lastly here we have a final gain stage where we will raise or lower the output of the preset.